everyone, how are you all? I hope you're all well and staying safe. I thought I would bring you a day in the life video. I enjoy watching them and I think you'll enjoy watching mine, so I thought I'd bring you one today. We are going to do some washing. I'm gonna go put some washing on in a minute. And then I thought we could do some painting. I thought that could be something fun to do. We'd done some colouring yesterday and he kept trying to get his paints out but it got to the point, you know, and it's too late. So I thought, colouring one day, painting the next. So, um, yeah, that's the plan for today. Hopefully I do give you some sort of ideas on how to be with a toddler in lockdown because it's, it is quite difficult when everything is closed because you constantly try and entertain them and do things. And with the weather like it is, you can't exactly just keep going out because it's just always raining. You can't sit in the garden or anything. So, yeah, I thought I would just show what we get up to and hopefully... <laughs> what are you doing, Oliver? <laughs> um, yeah, just give you some ideas. So, I hope you like it. Right, we're going to do some painting. Here you go, here's one. Hey, right, are you ready? Oh, that's so good. Missing a colour. Wow. Yay. Yay. That is so fun. Yay. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Around slightly now. That's right. Yay! Okay. Is that fun? Good handprint. That is so pretty. So pretty. <laughs> As you can see, these colours are completely mixed up, but never mind, they still look nice. So we've got out the big one. That's so good, Oliver. That's so good. Should we spin it around a bit? That's so sweet. So we've decided to start colouring. Like I said, Oliver, in my last video, Oliver prefers felt tips because I think they're easier for him to use. It does worry me that he can get the lids off, so they're always kept um, on here. They're always kept well out of reach. But um, yeah, he takes all the lids off and then he thinks, oh, now I'm going to colour. But just some little rain day activities. And I surprised my family um, last week, I think it was, with pictures. I just thought it was a nice idea to stay um, connected. So he does some painting, he does some colouring, and we just sent them off. It's just... I just think it's a nice way just to try and stay connected, especially if you've got kids. 
you know, send them to grandparents and aunts, uncles, friends. I just think it's a really nice thing for them to receive, especially if it's a surprise or a birthday or just to feel that little bit closer when we're all so far apart at the minute. But yeah, we go through stages of doing some arts and crafts and yeah, it's just a nice and it keeps them occupied as well, it keeps them quiet and yes they're still covered in paint. I got all the excess off but that will all come off in the bath later clean the table and everything with the paint smells drying, isn't it? He absolutely loves colouring. It's currently looking for the paint. It's on the table. Because I've just cleaned up and cleaned everything, I'm like, no, <laughs> don't want to do that again. <laughs> and you can't figure out why it's not there. Oh dear. something else. You want to get your figures out? We can get them out. So if this is freaking anyone out, that upsy daisy has a good piggle's body. I thought it was funny. Mix them up. There you go. <laughs> Oliver's putting it right for anyone that that's upsetting a little bit. Go the other way, darling. You can put the head on, but you struggle with the legs. Good knowing how they will, who they belong to. Does anyone else get to that point in the day and they just don't want to move? <laughs> just heard the washing machine stop, and I know I've got to get up, but. I really don't want to. The joys of being a mum. It's alright. It's chilling on my iPad. I think um, I've noticed when he does things like crafts and things, it um, wears him out a lot more. And he gets a lot more tired. So I've noticed he does like that quiet time after doing things like that. And I've kind of sat down with him and I'm like, yeah, I need to get up. <laughs> and also, so excuse this top, it's an old Primark's men's top. I like going to the men's section and just getting really oversized comfy clothes. But I didn't want to get my other top I was wearing with paint all over it and I just haven't changed back yet. Like I said, we've just kind of sat down and this is where we are. But I need to get up and sort the washing out and I should also make myself another cup of coffee I really really love at the minute having so if you saw just before Christmas um, <coughs> bless you I got an early birthday present um, birthday present sorry <laughs> early Christmas present of um, Dr. Gusto and Starbucks do pods for them which is why I wanted the Dr. Gusto and um, yeah, around this time, I just love having a Starbucks. I thought I would love the um, like the vanilla lattes and the um, caramel macchiatos, the syrupy ones more. Um, but I don't. I really prefer the americanos and espressos. So that's really surprised me. I also got a lot of hot chocolate. I went through a stage just before Christmas of just thinking I love hot chocolate and just wanting one. But it's a thing I only really like around Christmas and I've just got loads of them. And I'm like, I should really start using them up. But I just don't even fancy them. It's To me, it's a Christmas thing. Maybe I need some Baileys to go in there. Who knows? <laughs> Let me know. What do you like? Do you like... Um, hot chocolate just around Christmas or do you like it every time of the year? Am I on my own here? Or is it a common thing? I don't know, let me know. Anyway, the washing machine is screaming at me. So I'm going to go and do that and make myself a Starbucks. I actually might have a mocha. I have no idea. 
I'll see whatever I pick up. <laughs> so one thing I really need to do is have a toy tidy up. Everything has just been shoved in everywhere. So these are meant to be his dino rescue ones. But he's got his tea set in here and he's just got things missing in. Like this um, chase goes with a Paw Patrol towel and in that car. Mm. It's just everything's everywhere. He's also his Moon and Me playset. He's got all the characters and I'm missing half of them. So we're going to go. He's already started on that one. He is obviously Barney's. Um, and yeah, we're going to go and sort all these out, put everything in the right boxes, and see how that gets on. <laughs> While Oliver's playing, I made myself a mocha. In my Starbucks cup. We have sorted everything out. So all the Dino Rescues are now back together. I don't know where Rex has gone. He was there. Oh. He is still in there. Well, these are sorted out. They were sorted out, but you've got them all out again. But they're fine. Bound to Moon and Me characters. Just Mr. And Mr. Onion. Don't know where his got to, but I'm sure we'll find him at some point. Put everything back over there. This all needs sorting out. What's wrong? Rocky doesn't fit in the back, does he? Yay! He doesn't fit. Yay! He doesn't fit. So, um, if you remember just before Christmas, Oliver had no toys in here, and I was like, no, it's gone. We're only having, um, adult space in here and his crate right back in so at some point we're going to go through all the toys in the dining room take some more upstairs i might take a tower upstairs he's got one upstairs and one down here like his garage because he does love playing with both of his garages so that will um sorry money sitting on my lap so um yeah it's got one each and so I might do that and then just try and creep Oliver back out there I mean this ball pit's got to stay here until he gets bored of it these do go on his table but I squat them out the way so they don't get ruined so I'll just chuck them in there here's the tumbles bag and his fire I mean, accessory bag this is actually it was 20 about 28 pounds or something off Amazon and um yeah, it's got so many bits with it this coat's too big for him um but the hat you can um shorten it so I shorten that to fit him comes with the fire extinguisher and Barney <laughs> and everything else so, um, yeah, it's a really good dress-up thing if you've got kids that love to dress up. Like I said, it was about £28, but, you know, you do get a lot with it. And if they get a lot of use out of it, then it's worth it, really. Where's he gone? Where is he? Yeah. Where's he gone? Abby! <laughs> Where's he gone? Where's he going? Yay. Yay! Where are you going? Bee! <laughs> so my friends, I'm gonna leave that there. I'm just trying in Oliver's bath if he doesn't fall asleep first. Hopefully he doesn't, it's still got quite a bit of paint on him. <laughs> but 
I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content but haven't yet subscribed, I would really, really appreciate it if you did. It does help and it does mean a lot. And also the likes really help know what sort of videos you like, which ones you don't. So it helps me know what to film. Well, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.